Hello you beautiful audience. This is Reddit Stories. And today's topic is. What's something obviously discriminatory yet broadly accepted by society? The extreme expense often accrued when a person happens to become slash is disabled. Everything from having to get the correct mobility aids if necessary, to the labor spent trying to find an accessible slash adapted house. NVM lifelong managements and healthcare, specifically monetarily in the US. And the social barriers that disabled PPL, specifically those with physical or notable impairment, deal with on a daily basis. When I became physically disabled, the whole word became a mess of inaccessibility with cultural, infrastructural, physical, and medical issues I'd never before even considered becoming sometimes impassable barriers. Probably the poverty conditions that companies leave their workers in, often those who source the raw material in African or Asian countries, farmers, miners, etc. Not that it doesn't happen in other countries too or that life is great as a miner in the US. Like I remember when people were outraged at some coconut milk brand for using chained monkeys to fetch coconuts from trees. Yeah that's horrible, but these people don't think a step further and realize they're asking people to be coconut fetching slaves for basically no pay in order to save the monkeys. Caste system in India where people were segregated into groups based on their occupation which later got translated into segregation on the basis of birth. Based on this difference, hierarchy was formed which provides different rewards and punishment for different groups. This system is now almost 3000 years old though its ill effects of discrimination was made illegal through constitution of free India, it still persists in an evolved form. In some areas lower castes are still treated as untouchables. Extreme case of it can be seen in southern parts where some of these people announce their arrival while entering into high caste society so that these higher caste people can easily maintain distance from them. Though such extreme cases have now decreased due to urbanization and the anonymity. That comes with it but it still persists case in point is caste endogamy where marrying outside the caste is considered such an impure task that sometimes it even leads to murder of those who were involved in the act in order to save the family honor and it is famously called honor killings. Things have changed but the equality and zero discrimination that our constitution provides for is still a far-fetched dream. Some sacred religious grounds not letting women enter or set foot in it. The whole notion of women being somehow less worthy and not clean enough to set foot in these holy grounds in some Buddhist majority countries. Intelligence. Some people are incapable of understanding some concepts and that is okay. It is cruel to call them worthless and belittle them with your superior knowledge of a subject matter so long as these people put good faith and effort into trying to be more intelligent. We are so obsessed just trying to look smart because of how our academic culture from an early age is structured around your self-worth and later, your socio-economic status indirectly. Competition is in academia and schooling is fine but needs a cooperative component. Otherwise we're going to keep producing assholes looking at less intelligent humans as subhumans and climbing the ladder treating them as such. But like a good bro at a gym. Why make fun of the short fat kid running and lifting weights knowing very well he won't be an elite division 1 athlete? Our society is better when we all help each other up, and fulfill your potential, no matter how average or below average that might be, and also, just better for a great society overall. Getting fired for no reason in a right to work state in the US. I was retaliated against then fired before for objecting to a manager outing me as a homosexual to all of the drivers at a job, because he saw my wedding announcement page on Facebook. The reason listed was none because they knew I'd never have enough money to sue and enforce my rights. For real, the fact that you have to front cash to sue to enforce any civil rights. People seem to just accept that's how it works but it effectively eliminates those rights for anyone below the upper middle class. My brother is intellectually disabled. He does not go out, he can't drive but he can talk. He was diagnosed with cancer three years ago. I do everything for him except personal hygiene and stuff. I can't do that. 
just the way I am. But I can't get a carer's allowance cause I don't do that. Every five years or so the government decides he needs to prove he is diabled. Involves a lengthy doctor's assessment. And then about a month of the government thinking about it then they finally decide yes he is disabled. Sorry but is the brain fixable now? EDA he is in remission and the last few scans are clear or no growth found. <coughs> the housing market. Can't afford a house? Can't afford to rent? Die on the streets, scum. Come to think of it, the system harms those who rely on it the most and rewards those who don't need it at all. <coughs> People casually saying they for sure have ADHD, OCD, or autism to explain annoying but non-life altering aspects of their personality that they don't want to put the effort into changing. It really takes away from being taken seriously when you're afflicted with these conditions legitimately, especially the ones that require controlled prescriptions. I haven't seen anyone mention anything about height yet. People generally agree that body shaming is wrong, but no one bats an eye when it comes to making fun of short people. I also feel like people are harder on guys when it comes to height, and when you're short no one wants to take you seriously. Insurance is more expensive for men, all types of insurance. I get the risk assessment part, but it's crazy that they land on a divide that lumps 50% of the population into the high risk category. And then this intentional discrimination is supported by governments. You must have this insurance that will penalize you for being a certain sex. <coughs> Employers demand that hair be neat and groomed. They use broad terms, but they have a specific idea of what that is. It means hair is laying flat, and that's not how black people's hair grows. It's incredibly expensive, time-consuming and damaging to force our hair to look the way white managers think it should look. Labeling children who can't sit still or focus on worksheets all day lazy or difficult. Expecting mothers to return to work after six weeks maternity leave. Placing the burden of preventing unwanted pregnancy upon women. Hatred for children. It's fine to not want children or want to be around children, but hating or wanting to harm other humans for literally existing is weird and you should probably see someone about that. America in general fits this description. The extreme costs of medical services in the United States. I know this isn't an unpopular opinion but it's gotten so bad that people refuse to go to the doctor or into an ambulance just because of the costs. This is so discriminatory for people of lower class, and when they're caught with drugs like weed, people wonder why they got addicted. Sometimes, the relaxing aspects of drugs can become a replacement for real medical help. Small penis jokes. The stigma about overcompensating somehow seems to have escaped the scrutiny of the social justice warrior brigades as they all seem to be more than happy to use that slur regardless of its validity, in spite of their supposed compassion for their fellow human. The problem here is, nobody is ever going to speak up about it and let it be known how hurtful it can be, because of the implication. People on disability and people who have a misdemeanor or felony from 10 plus years ago. Not saying every charge is forgivable, but I work at a place that won't hire if someone's driver's license was taken. Stuff like that. And like if you're disabled, you're fucked if you decide to get disability and want to have any good income. Let alone the stigma that goes with. I've had a lot of controversy for saying this before but I don't fucking care, the fact that women get less time in prison for the exact same crime as men, ick it isn't always the case but it's still very prominent in multiple judgment systems. Being epileptic. Not many people consider this an actual disability for some reason, people can mock a seizure and people will find it funny and make jokes out of it. Also, people who refuse to add a flash warning on something and then come up with every excuse they can think of as to why they can't put one. The most common thing I've heard as an epileptic person, is life doesn't come with a flash warning. It does if you actually look. Netflix, video games, apps, toys, etc. People act like it's something you can easily just stop having and can easily live with. 
people who have never had any seizures slash never witnessed one, don't understand how scary it is to have one. I'm sure there's people with epilepsy who disagree with me on some things but I'm pretty sure we can all agree that people don't take epilepsy seriously when it comes to flash warnings. It's ableist behavior if you purposely don't add a flash warning or mock someone having a seizure. Dark humor is fine, but straight up mocking it isn't. Portable bandsaws are not left hand friendly. Have a co-worker who we wouldn't let near the bandsaw because he cuts everything like absolute shit. Couldn't figure out why until I saw him trying to use it and was like, why the fuck are you using the bandsaw like that? And he lost it on me. I ducking felt terrible that I never realized it before but it absolutely made sense why he struggled with it so much. Spent about an hour with him on some downtime trying to figure out how he could use it better. The IEP system for students with special needs. They oftentimes shield students from consequences for dangerous slash majorly disruptive behavior. They have canned accommodations that really do nothing for students. The case managers are so overloaded with work that they can't serve their students. The teachers are overloaded and have to do more work for them that doesn't actually help the students. In the end, the students aren't served as they need to be. <laughs> Paying mentally impaired people less than minimum wage. Like it doesn't cost less for them to live, in fact it usually costs more if they need some kind of treatment. Just because someone is disabled doesn't mean their time is worth less, it should be illegal to pay someone below minimum wage for being disabled. I'm not sure to what extent, but folks who express themselves through art and that's it. Sure some of the artworks might be obscene and violent but the artist can be just an average person. I've seen many cases in school systems these days, many of referred to counseling, which ironically would often recommend art therapy. Growing up, just as long you don't plan on enacting what you draw, the school system couldn't care less. They respected the Fourth Amendment, because a student's artwork was technically their private property. Unless threats are made or enacted, schools aren't allowed to do much. Now there are websites dedicated to obscene artwork, yet the people who make these, you don't know who they are. Most most of them could be the most chillest person you ever meet. To seem to be a bit of a problem against folks who simply want to express themselves. And it's not a new problem by any chance. This has been going on for ages. How as a man, I am not believed over the hearsay of a female or that a male parenting is just called babysitting. How about being looked at funny in a park because people assume you are a pedo despite just watching your kids play? There's restaurants everywhere for ogling hot waitresses in skimpy clothes, and they are so normalized that we go there for work dinners, yet there's no equivalent with hot male waiters, with the same popularity. I'm not saying I want to do away with Hooters and Twin Peaks, but would it kill them to make a male equivalent? or even something with a nice mixture of male slash female slash and be asked to ogle. I'm just saying. <laughs> Military service in many countries. You are an able-bodied man? Your duty is to protect the country and to toughen because it is important for men to be tough. You are a woman? You don't need to. But if you want, we will even pay you to do it. Public schools in America are supposed to have equal funding. In practice the rich neighborhoods have well-funded schools and the poor neighborhoods have terrible schools. My son was in a rich neighborhood with two teachers for eight kids in his class. Now we live in a middle-class neighborhood with one teacher for 18 students. I don't even want to know what it's like in a poor neighborhood. <laughs> Paying disabled people less than min wage, United States. Also not allowing disabled people to have savings on disability i.e. if they inherit anything there goes disability even though disability isn't enough to live on as is. Not hiring disabled people for rudimentary things. I'm sure someone who is in a wheelchair can pen drag as well as an able-bodied person. Buildings disabled access is a joke. I was required to wear heels and a dress at a job once. I was a server on my feet for sometimes 10 hours. 
The male servers wore flat shoes and pants. Not that it should matter, this was a family restaurant. Fertility insurance for women fertility issues and regular insurance covers men's fertility issues. If a man has fertility issues, you go to a urologist. If a woman has fertility issues, you better hope you have some additional coverages. Fertility clinics don't typically even deal with men beyond a semen analysis and blood draw. Need to see if you have a varicole, SP, go to a urologist. The husband stitch. The fact that some states abortion is illegal. Separation of church and state doesn't exist. Utah still believes in conversion treatments. Everybody wants to pretend they aren't fat phobic, but every single time I see a terrible person that happens to be a fat lady, they go straight for insults specifically pertaining to the person's weight. Don't get me wrong, I'm not part of Hayes, but this is disgusting. I also find it disgusting how almost every single video for women's sports has top comments mentioning how beautiful they are. Are we incapable of discussing their skills or something? And every time any woman talks about how they did XYZ in a male-dominated field, the top comments are almost always people trying to shoot her down or downplay her achievements. The Electoral College Meant to even out the influence of small states despite the larger population of large states. Namely, intended to undo the one-person one-vote basis because otherwise, the small states wouldn't have joined the union. Now a way for non-industrial states to elect minority presidents. <laughs> fat people. I'm not talking about fat acceptance etc., but the amount of generalist stuff associated with it. Lose weight seems to be the comical solution for every single complaint. I'm sure being optimal weight helps in some cases, but having a sore throat probably not. The assumption that all meals are unhealthy. The assumption that you feed your kids crap. The moment you mention burger or sausages everyone assumes it's a grease-ridden Super XL burger served with bacon, fried chicken, onion rings, dirty fries and a side order of cheese rather than a low-fat vegan burger in a brown pita with vegan cheese served with homemade air-fried veggies and a side salad. The policing food. The unsolicited advice. The meddling. The horrid comments because we care. The diet industry cashing in on fat people. People returning to slimming clubs saying I lost 5 stone last time, perhaps they can help me lose 8. Medical companies cashing in on fat people. <laughs> Deciding someone's entire life for them based on what genitals they were born with, and acting like they're monsters if they deviate from that even a little. Even a dude, born male, wearing nail polish or having long hair will get shit on for it. A little kid, who can't even say boy or girl yet, getting the wrong toy slapped out of their hands because it'll confuse them or turn them gay. I don't accept slash approve your lifestyle. To a LGBTQ person. Stop. It's not a lifestyle. Stop discriminating me and my friends for something we had no say and choice in. I can't anymore. No one accepts or approves me for anything. I am going insane. I want to die. I want to murder. Just leave me alone. This just happened today, I assume, a husband and wife were having a very heated argument when the wife full on punches him in the face he rightfully and very legally fights back cops come she tells them a sob story he gets cuffed several people come forward and say she threw the first punch and was only defending himself women scream left right ad center for equal this and equal all that but when it comes to fighting as soon as they get hit they play the you can't hit me I'm a woman card news. Flash you want to be equal in every way that play is invalid. The fact that anytime autistic people bring up how autism warrior moms trademark and other parents slash guardians of autistic people aren't saints just for doing their jobs by taking care of us and acting like a savior for autistic people when they haven't bothered to do any research beyond the hate group that is autism speaks, we get chastised for not knowing what they go through. Bitch, whatever the parents are going through cannot even compare to what their autistic child is going through living in a world that wasn't made for us and actively wishes we were dead.
or when autistic people point out offensive portrayals of neurodivergence in media like Rain Man and Forrest Gump we get berated for not liking these beloved classics that insult us. Or how about when an autistic person has lower than average empathy they get chastised into oblivion and autism gets scrutinized but when millions of non-autistic people have no empathy and do horrible things every day, people try and excuse their actions as much as possible. I could go on and on about the ableism in society. I saw an article a few days ago about how Germany is apparently displacing Afghan refugees in favor of Ukrainian refugees. What's happening in slash to Ukraine is a human rights travesty for sure, but as a non-white person it's also wild to see the blatantly different reaction to white vs non-white refugees. One group, rightly, given aid, shelter, and most importantly compassion, while the other is demonized, ostracized, and used as a political bogeyman to scaremonger people and put slash keep politicians and their parties in power. The way that we only see monogamous relationships that are romantic slash sexual as valid. Culturally and legally, we legitimize the nuclear family over polyamory, platonic relationships, and multi-generational families. We don't value community and it leaves a lot of people feeling like they have to be constrained or be alone. We don't even question it. I'm American. Inequities in employer health benefit costs for singles vs families. Yes, costs for families is much higher than single. That said, an employer typically pays part of the costs, and will pay a higher dollar amount of the cost for family coverage. My previous employer paid $1.50 per month for single coverage and $300 per month for family coverage, with the employee paying the rest. When I asked, why not pay the same dollar amount for all employees? I was told that this how it's always been done and what employees expect, so it'll never change. The way we treat the homeless. Brutally marginalized group. Sometimes people end up in bad situations in life and don't have friends or family to rely on. I almost went bankrupt once years ago and was lucky the owner of my condo let me stay for several months without paying rent. My life has done a 180 since then. I live in a large metropolitan city and sometimes when I have some free time I just go out to buy a bunch of sandwiches slash wraps and juice and hand them out to homeless people living on the streets. Be kind to others. Nobody deserves that kind of life. This marks the end of the video. If you like my content, consider subscribing as it helps me a lot. See you until next time.